Because, girl, if they want you to try on something, you got to get your hair done. You got to get your lashes done. You got to get your nails done, especially if you're doing an unboxing. Nobody want to see your crusty nails. All that costs and your time. So make sure you allocate all the beauty things that you need to do to do the video as well as your time and you'll be all good. Hey y'all, I'm Raven and you're watching my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ray is here with another video. Y'all already know it's January. My birthday is the 23rd, so I be celebrating all month because that's just what an Aquarius does. So guys, this video is going to be my get ready with me for my Puerto Rico birthday trip. Me and Yaya will be leaving next Wednesday, which is a week from today. And today I will be starting my get ready with me video. It's about four, right? Let me put, let me, let me put on my seatbelt for y'all. Come for your girl, okay? seatbelt so we can be safe but yeah guys so um it's about four o'clock right now and i am on my way to my nail lady you already know i go to slayed by jade because she's the best my hands is looking like some boys right now but y'all know i'm like type allergic to gel so i only get my nails done like every so often so yeah i'm super excited but before we get started make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so you can keep up with all of my videos that are coming for this month and let's get on to the video so yeah y'all um i am i'm like 10 minutes from her so i'm not gonna be late at all i'm usually never late to any of my appointments because when i used to do hair keyword used to because them clients mm -mm, too much i know the feeling of having bad clients so i always try not to be that type of client for any of the people who service me so i always you know treat them with respect and respect their time because time is money baby like so yeah guys i just got off of work that's why i look so like geeky and whatnot got my little flannel on um and yes going to slave by jade i don't even know what i'm doing to my nails i never know that's like the one thing i feel bad about because I always, she always like, because I'll always come in and she'll be like, what are you getting done? I'm like, I know the length. I just don't know what designs I'm doing. Um, last year I did kind of a wintery snowflake design, but I don't know if y'all know, but I live in the Northeast and it hasn't been snowing like that up here. Like we had snow probably like once or we had one big snowstorm and then we had like a little small little snow. So, um yeah it hasn't been snowing much and even though i'm a winter baby and i love you know i don't love snow but like i'll be doing my nails like with snowflakes and stuff i think i'm gonna go for a purple vibe i don't know but we'll figure it out when we get there i really don't know but i'll figure it out when i get there so let me pay attention and drive so i don't get into an accident in my birth month and I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I get there. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm back home. It's a little bit later. And um, as you guys can tell, my nails are gorgeous. Let me turn them around and show you guys how good they are. I got a light purple and a dark purple. Uh, she just did like this abstract line on each side. And then you can't really see here because of the lighting. I'm gonna try to do it um, tomorrow morning outside, but it's like a marble uh, tip. And it's so cute. And then she put gems on my thumb and my pinky. Super cute. Yeah, so now I'm about to actually get ready for bed. Next, you guys will hopefully see my lashes. I'm trying to book an appointment with my favorite girl, Lash My Baby. And um, hopefully that's this weekend. I have a bunch of clothes coming in. So I guess I'll just show you guys um, me unboxing my clothes. Stay tuned. See you guys in a little bit, y'all. So it's the next day. And I got some packages in please don't mind my bed um i'm over here trying to plan outfits and stuff so i guess you guys can get a sneak peek at what i'm thinking of so zara got this cute cute wrap skirt um it's upside down right now but i'm gonna show you guys what i'm envisioning so this is the skirt from zara now i got this shirt from aritzia 
and um, I don't think that this, yeah, it's not the same pink. I really wanted to wear this. It's so cute. The quality is just so bomb, but it's not matching. So thank God I got this one from Sheen. Because, you know, white goes with everything. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a, uh, like a cream one. Because I feel like cream will go ten times better. But I leave in five days. I don't know what's going to get to me in five days. Um, I could get something from Aritzia. But I'd have to pay expedited shipping. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but these little dangly things on the end are white so i feel like it does kind of match um and if i just do some like brown you know gold accessories maybe a brown bag and some shoes but this is the outfit that i'm planning on wearing to dinner night one we're going to a restaurant called serafina and it's giving like the tiktoks i've seen it gives like beachy vibes so i definitely wanted to do the wrap skirt with the top and um just like a beachy look and yeah i'm gonna be so cute so yeah when i bought this one i originally had this from sheen so technically i do have another out another outfit i'm gonna try both on the only issue i have with this sarong is that it is a zero xl my ass thought that you know it's a wrap it won't look that big and you know i'm wrapping it on myself so I guess we'll see how it looks. I did put it on and it doesn't look too big. It's just when I wrap it, like it's like mad leftover because I'm so smaller than this Zero XL. But this definitely matches this. So if I don't end up finding the cream top or if I don't like how the white looks, um, I'll probably just end up doing this, but I really like the Zara skirt better, so I'm probably just gonna keep the white, but we'll see. Um, what I also got from Zara is my favorite perfume. Shout out to Kyra, cause she put me on. This is the, let me get the box. So yeah, this is the Ebony Wood perfume. Look at my nails, they're so cute. And um, I love it so much. It gives like a wood smell. And I had the big one, but it dropped and broke. And I haven't had a new one since. So, see, so yeah, I also got all this stuff from Pretty Little Thing. And I'll just show you guys my idea behind everything. So I got a few new bikinis. I actually love Pretty Little Thing's bikinis because um, they sell them separately. And your girl got a lot of titties and you know, a little bit of butt. So I usually get my tops in a, I think I get my tops in a 10 because look at this, this is a 10 and it still looks super small, um, but it, it will fit, you know, I'm gonna I'm a fit these boobies anywhere. I usually get the tops in a 10 and I'll get the bottoms in an 8 because that's like my actual size. Um, those are one of the bikinis I got. This is another one. I just love orange and I'm about to be blonde. So I know that, that, that this orange is going to be hitting so good on my skin especially with my blonde hair and this is the top of the orange once again the bottoms are eight the top is a 10 super stringy and um, it has a lot of coverage on the back I gotta hang these up and last but not least I think this is the outfit I'm gonna wear to the catamaran so I got this like button up, like open cover up shirt type thing. And it's in green. But the matching bathing suit is just super freaking cute. So it's a mix of green and pink. 
this is the top I got this in a 10 and bottoms I got it in an 8 the shirt they ran out of medium so the shirt is a small because I'm like I don't really care if it covers my butt or not um this is just like for picture purposes damn this is a big ass eight which is huge but this is I really like the color scheme like I really like it like it's gonna be super cute this weekend well next week um so yeah that's that's the bikini stuff that I got let me show you um so with the orange um bikini that i got i think i'm gonna wear this skirt cover up it's super cute i love like crochet stuff um i always bring one piece of crochet with me then i got this because y'all know my favorite color is purple and um i'm gonna have the blonde and then my nice chocolate skin this is gonna pop it's gonna pop shit bitch so I'm gonna wear this black cover up with it. Um, it's not really a cover up. Y'all know them little fake pop poster girl dresses. This is one of them. I got this before poster girl was a thing. Well, I don't know when they started making dresses, but I got this about three years ago, prior to poster girl gaining their fame on TikTok or whatnot. So yeah, this um, I'm gonna wear together and. I'll just show you my vision. It's just gonna be popping. Like, it's gonna look so cute. So, yeah, those are all my bikinis. So, I told you guys that night one I'll be wearing the beach looking fit, but this dress is from Soda London. And um, purple again, favorite color. Y'all know who I am. So, like, me with the blonde, like, I just feel like this is just gonna be a fit. I don't know what I'm wearing on my feet and um, what bag I'm doing yet. I have to, <sighs> I have to try all this on, um, which I'm probably not gonna do till I'm packing a few days before. So yeah, this is my dress for um, night two. Night two is when we're gonna do my birthday dinner, just because um, I wanna go out and stuff, whatever. So we're gonna go to STK San Juan. Apparently that STK is lit because they be going around with shots every hour and um, whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be a time that night. And then every night we're there, we're gonna go to La Placita because um, it'd be lit over there. The only issue is that we're going from Wednesday to Saturday. So hopefully it's lit on Wednesday and Thursday night. Um, we leave Saturday, our flight leaves at 6 a.m. So uh, we probably got to be up at four, which means that if we go out after day three dinner, we're not going to sleep. Like if we got to be at the airport for four, it don't make sense for us to go to sleep. If we go out, like say we get back at two. Yeah, we just want to pack clean and be out like and then I'll sleep in the airport. Really, I really don't care. So, yeah, the last night is um, we're going to this rooftop called Kumo. I don't know. It's called Kumo Rooftop. It's like uh, Euro-Asian vibes. So that's why I got this um, this dress. But I feel like I'm just going to wear this. I don't even know if I'm going to wear this or not. Because um, now that I'm looking at it, y'all know my titties is too big to be, just be hanging out. This don't really got boob support. Like, look at the top. This is the back. And this is the top and this is a size eight and it looks super huge so i don't know if i'm gonna do this my cousin was saying i should do this orange dress that i got from sheen um especially like me with the blonde hair so i'm thinking i'm gonna do this for the last night rooftop vibe um i'm super excited for my trip guys like you guys don't even know like i really need this i've been going through a lot lately um i'll probably open up to you guys what happened within the past few weeks maybe after i get through it which probably won't be a year from now so hopefully you're still subscribed and watching my videos and then last but not least i got this it's just a white maxi dress 
I feel like I don't have one. But it's super maxi. Like, this goes down to my ankles. Um, but it's going to give me shape. Because I got this from the shape section. You can already see, like, it's small up here. And then it gets bigger and whatnot. But, yeah, guys, I'm super excited. I'm going to be 25. Yeah, I look a little crazy, but it's okay. Um, the glow up is happening soon. That's why y'all yeah, watching this get ready with me. So, the next time you guys are going to see me, I'm probably going to get my pedicure this weekend. I'm going to redo my toes. Um, as you guys know, I got my nails done already. So, I'm going to get a pedi this weekend and hopefully I get my lashes done. She has not responded to me yet, so I hope she responds. Um, if not, I'll be having to wear lash strips, which I really don't want to do because I really like that wake up and look gorgeous look but yeah so um yeah this week and i have a lot to do i'm looking into doing ugc so i'm gonna do a few like um videos on because you know you guys know i did well you guys don't know but i ordered a bunch of stuff from sephora so i'm gonna be doing um i'm just gonna open them and like make it look cute make the video look cute and put that on my portfolio for when i start um scouting brands so wish me luck um i y'all know i used to do i was doing hair at one point but like i mentioned before customers are crazy customers clients they're insane and they made me want to rip my hair out so i only do hair for like my cousins family friends people who i know i'm no longer taking new clients because i just couldn't deal with it um i'm glad i didn't get to a capacity where i could not stop i love doing hair and i'm glad i can do my own hair but i don't love doing hair for other people when they don't appreciate it like i just i'm never going to stress myself out to make you look cute and that's just not what i'm going to do so i'm going to make sure i'm always happy so that's why I looked into UGC and I'm thinking of doing that um, because like, you know, UGC is like hand in hand with what I do now with YouTube. You guys know I branded with Unico Eye. I gave you guys, I'll give you guys a little insight on that. I did that for free when I shouldn't have because I was already monetized at that point. So I should have definitely charged them for that video. But I watched this lawyer on um, YouTube and she, she has a bunch of videos helping girls like me who are looking to start getting paid on youtube um aside from google adsense i'll put her um thing right here whatever it is but she was just super helpful and and she made me put the work in to get myself ready so she has like a bunch of email templates that you would respond to brands that are looking to for you to do stuff um and i also decided that as of 2023 i'm no longer doing anything for free so if that brand does come back to me asking me to do another video for free, my polite response will say that I'm no longer accepting gifts um, and ex I'm no longer accepting gifting co collabs and I'll send them my rate card. So, so far I created all my bland response templates in Gmail. I also made myself a rate sheet and a rate card. It's like about me, my analytics, uh, my demographics, and um, the prices that I charge for each of the socials. Obviously, YouTube is the most expensive social that I will be charging for because I get more views, you know, whatever. And then, um, yeah, next I have to think about a contract and what I want my contract to entail because I learned something today. If you create something for someone and say, say I create a lotion and I pay Erica to make content on that lotion, then I use that content to promote my lotion to have other people purchase that lotion. But then Erica starts breaking out. The people who purchased the lotion starts breaking out. Apparently, Erica could get sued by those people because that content was hers. So that's something that if you guys plan on starting to um, get into um, getting paid by YouTube and whatnot, make sure you have some type of clause in your uh, contract that states that you are not liable for any damages or punitive or anything that happens due to you creating content for them. Anything that happens after that has nothing to do with you. So... Um, yeah keep that in mind my skin is actually doing really well like this dark spot was super dark the other day I popped a pimple 
like last month and it was just black and now it's been working because I got back Kyra is just my girl like she be putting me on everything so I use Dr. Dennis Goss um, I use these these are the Dr. Dennis these are the Dr. Dennis Goss uh, exfoliating wipes crack like when I tell you crack it's crack so like you could wash your face a hundred times in a row and it's still not be clean this thing even after you wash your face you'll still see like dirt on it because it's getting like the dead skin off of your face so I'll use that then I'll use um, the ordinary drops these ordinary drops and then I'll go in with my Aveeno and when I'm done with the Aveeno I go in with my faded topicals and since then skin's been glowing y'all should have saw my skin look like last month it looked a hot mess like it was she was just mad flaky mad dry and now she looks like she got something going on um and yeah so you guys will see me soon that was just a little tidbit about what's been going on in my life i know this is a get ready with me but i know y'all are always looking for tips on you know what to do how to make money elsewhere so just make sure you guys are subscribed and you know um when I start like making money from brands, I will start doing a series on how to make sure that you cover yourself and you know make sure that you're all good when you are pitching to these brands, when you're responding to them. Make sure you're not selling yourself short because if you are monetized already, if you have over a thousand subscribers, you should at least be getting three, four hundred dollars per video, if not more. So keep that in mind. Brands just want to send you free stuff and they think that you could that you'll just do it for them for free. They will find a few creators who will do it for free, but that's because those creators don't know better. I didn't know better. I've been doing a bunch of videos. These past two years of me making videos, I've been doing a bunch of them for free. I'm mad people. A lot of the brands that you've seen, like I'll sponsor or whatever, free. I'll say that. But from now on, don't sell yourself short because girl, if they want you to try on something, you got to get your hair done. You got to get your lashes done. You got to get your nails done, especially if you're doing an unboxing. Nobody want to see your crusty nails. All that costs and your time. So make sure you allocate all the beauty things that you need to do to do the video as well as your time and you'll be all good. So guys, um, I'm going to get to putting all this stuff away and get some food because I'm starving and I'll catch up with you guys um, at the next um, part of this video. I don't know when it will be. But, uh, yeah, it'll probably be Saturday when I'm getting my toes done. See you guys in a little hey bit. Hey, guys, so I just finished dyeing my hair or my wig. I feel like it came out really good. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the light so you guys can see the different tones. But she is too cute, and she's definitely giving 25. Cannot wait to install her. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Tomorrow's really my last day off before... I go back to work so I'll be installing this tomorrow and finishing everything that I need to do which is packing waxing um, etc I have so much to do um, I look crazy right now but little sad news I was not able to book a lash appointment so upset but I think I'm just gonna book an appointment on my birthday she wasn't available before I left um, it is what it is so yeah i'll be going to ulta to get this like lash bond by kiss that i saw on tiktok and i'm gonna do my own lashes or attempt to so wish me luck uh, and and yeah this looks so good so excited and i will see you guys tomorrow hey y'all so it is monday night well it's not really monday night it's like two o'clock right now i am opening some amazon packages that came in so as i told you guys yesterday i was not able to book my lash appointment uh she didn't have any availability before i wanted to leave the only availability she oh the only availability she had was tomorrow tuesday but i work and it's like to take hours out to get my lashes done plus I like having my lashes done a few days before I go on vacation because you know I want to immediately go in the water and get them wet so I was just like you know what TikTok will save me and TikTok did 
They told me to get a few things to do my own DIY. These are, mm, I got a few because I'm like mad indecisive and I want to make sure that it comes out good. I also got this pumice rock. I saw it on TikTok. I need to get off of TikTok because, um, whatever. But they said this is good to like get the dead skin off the bottom of your heel. So I will be using this tonight. So yeah, I still booked my lash appointment, but it's gonna be on my birthday when I get back because it's like I still want to get my lashes done. So yes, I'm super excited. And the girls who get it, get it. I've actually been using PFB Chroma Bright since probably like, <clears throat> I'll say I bought it like five or, I'll say I started using it about five or six years ago because I do remember having this like a little bit after high school. And this has been a lifesaver to me. My doctor actually recommended it to me and I loved it. And then when I saw it on TikTok, I was like, no who spilled the beans because i didn't literally literally right after this went viral it was sold out y'all know how it be and that got me really mad so um i was able to get some eventually but i needed some more and i also needed some shoes um so i'm supposed to be getting a surprise the day I get back Saturday um, and I purchased this chrome dress but I had no chrome shoes so I got these Calvin Klein heels my room looks a hot mess I don't know if y'all noticed but I got my eyebrows done I don't really have much eyebrows but Han at um, LA Nails, she does what it do. And last but not least, I needed a new robe because I've been doing my hair in most of my robes, so they get like glue and I do my hair and makeup in most of my robes. So they get build up. So I usually buy a new robe every, you know, so months for when it gets dirty. And I got this cute, it's like a kimono. And I feel like it's perfect. Ooh, let me make sure I cover my butt. Hold on. No way. Oh, hell no. This is not my size. As you guys can tell, it's not closing. Wow. Unless it's... Yeah, I don't like this. I might have to send this girl back. This shit was like $50. I expected a little more. Okay guys, so um, I have to do a few things. I think I'm going to wax myself. Y'all need to see that because um, I showed you guys that in my getting ready for Miami vlog. I also put all the wax materials and whatnot that I used. So um, yeah, definitely don't need that. So I'm not going to show you guys this time. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But I will check up with you guys a little bit later when I do my hair. And when I start packing. I still haven't started packing and I leave tomorrow. And I work tomorrow. Yeah, I got shit to do. And I'm going to get to it. So um, I also have to make dinner. So yeah, let me get to what I need to do and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so it's a little bit later. I started packing a little bit and I was able to make dinner. I made baked potatoes, some roasted broccoli, and I did hot, like the Nashville hot chicken, fried chicken tenders. 
Now that that's all the way, I am tired. Um, and I have work in the morning. However, this bad girl still needs to get installed. Are you guys ready? Like, I'm really not ready. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. Um, I have to record it. Hopefully the, the, hopefully the install comes out well. Usually when I do like recording installs and I'm doing like a certain color for the first time and I mess up, I usually just throw away the whole recording and I never post it, but I'm gonna try my best to do this one. So I'm actually gonna change my shirt because I'm pretty hot. Um, I'm also gonna open up one of these doors. So yeah, uh, I'll be back when I'm all slayed. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and I'm all done with my hair. It came out so good and so natural looking. So I have work in the morning and I'm super tired. I just made a whole meal and did a few packing and um, whatnot. Uh, I have to go and format my SD card. So I'll check up with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow when I get off, I have to come back here and um, do the clusters because I just, I'm just too tired to do it tonight. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I just got off of work and I just got home and I'm about to do the infamous lash clusters because I didn't get to make an appointment with my lash lady before vacation. So we are about to install some lashes on our own because I really don't want to be putting on strips every day. Um, so yeah, we got the Kiss Falscara. It has a lash bond and seal as well as the remover because I do have my appointment on Monday when I get back. So I need to remove them. So I'm gonna pay no fee. So yeah, um, I, I'm gonna do a couple and make sure I can do it first and I'll be back and show you guys my process. Okay guys, so I finished one of my eyes and they look so good. So basically this bond, it comes in like a, it has like a mascara. Please focus. It has like a mascara -y wisp to it. So you basically, you just comb it up with the bond, you apply it and you do the rest of the eye. And then when you're done, you do the seal. And I have my little fan here to um, dry it off if I need to. I got mad dark spots on my face, but your girl is working on her skin. And I literally told myself that I'm going to be dedicated to the gym and working on my skin this year. So I'm gonna try to do a bunch of, um, I'm gonna try to do a facial a month. I actually did get a wax earlier, forgot to let you guys know. Um, I went during my lunch break because my wax lady is two minutes away from my job. So I got a wax earlier, so I'm all set and ready to go. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this one. First, I'm just gonna pull out the lashes that I'll be using. I don't think I showed you guys. I think I just recorded for, I'll show you after. The links will be below anyways. I'm trying to get this done. And I'm going to take one of these clusters and break it in half so that I have a small one because this is the inner of my eye. And there's
there's one. Now I'm going to take a bigger one to fill the spot up. So my battery died guys, um, but I put on the next cluster right after. So now we're just going to continue with the process. Back to the process. Um, so I also like put a little bit of bond on like the edge of the lash that I'm that's before the one that I'm putting, just so that it could stick to that as well. That's like a few mistakes that I learned in the ten minutes while while I was doing the other eye. So, this is how the two of them look. So the only thing about these is that they're a little like um, hard, like they're not like softer like lashes would be where if you would get them installed professionally, but they are doing the job. Like this looks like I have individuals on. And I really don't. So. Okay. So I'm just going to fill in like right here so that it looks like this and um, be right back. And last but not least, we are going to use the seal part of our um, falscara and seal it with this seal. I already did this eye, so I'm just gonna do this one. Basically, it says that the seal removes any stickiness and it keeps the lashes in place which I kind of don't like because I like my lashes a little fluffy. But we want to make sure these girls are stuck. And I'm gonna take my fan. Okay guys, so I filled in the spots. Now, these aren't perfect, obviously, because they're all a bunch of different sizes and I didn't really make like a map so that I could remember. Um, but let me show you the clusters that I use. They will also be big, they will also be linked below, but these are the B and Q lash clusters and they did wonders to my eyes. Um, I do recommend getting the remover just to, you know, just to, in case you mess up, just in case you mess up and, or you want to remove these because you don't like them, whatever. But I love these, like TikTok never fails me, which is exactly why I need to get off of it because I'm just spending all my money. But, um, this together, I believe costs like about $30 and I would have spent $160 on a full set of lashes, which I'm still going to spend in a few days, but I'm super happy that 
this came out really good so guys I'm going to so you guys let me do like a let's do like a thumbnail so you guys I'm going to show you guys some of my packing so yeah, you guys, I'm going to um, clean all of this up and then show you guys my packing and close out this video. I still have to do my, I still have to pack my makeup and stuff um, and just make sure that I have all the materials I need for the looks that I'm doing. And then from there, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm packing my suitcase. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, your girl is packing and almost set and ready to go. So everything is packed now. I just have to remove the air. So on TikTok, I saw um, this. So I saw this carousel on TikTok that said that you could get these um, vacuumable, you know, like those easy seals. So it came with like two, four, six, eight. It came with about 10 bags of different sizes as well as this little vacuum. So I did this one so you guys can see it's pretty much airtight and it's gonna make me organize better and also make sure that everything can fit so in this one i did all my toiletries already you can see my dove my um uh my rub on you can see my dove you can see my pbh uh, my pbf chroma bite as well as my lotion toner i got my um well, maybe I should have closed it. Let me double check what I did. Okay, it's, it's locked. Cool. So yeah, that's all set. All my bathroom. All my bathroom and um, moisturizing needs are in there. So let's do this one. So you just undo this little thing right here. And I have this plugged into my power bank because it's a USB on the other side. And then you just twist this on, press this button, and it does the work on its own. Now, I wish it was a little faster, so maybe I might invest in a uh, larger or more powerful vacuum so that it just slurps it up because this takes a few minutes if even <sighs> so yeah you guys So yeah, you guys get the gist. I am about to vacuum the rest of these and um, I'll be right back so that we can finish up this video. Okay guys, we are all set and packed and ready to go. So I went ahead and removed the air from all eight of these bags. I also had um, two bags left over and I left one empty. It's right here. Um, that's gonna be my dirty clothes bag and just so I can keep all my empty stuff together. So we're just going to zip this up. I really pray I'm not over 50 pounds. I don't know what it is, y'all, but every time I go somewhere, I'm over 50 pounds. And I either am with someone so they could take some of my stuff and put it in theirs, or I have to pay the extra $100 um, because I'm not throwing out my shit. So yes, that is all set. That's all set. I got my outfit over there. I got my Polaroid. So when it comes to my Polaroid, I always keep it in my purse and have them hand check it because anytime the film, well, with my experience, anytime I let the film go through TSA and the scanners, it um, under, it, it just, it doesn't work. So like I'll put it in here and when I take the picture, it'll be blank and it won't ever develop. So I always have them hand check it. Now this, because there's no film in it, I can just, I can just put this in one of these bags. Um, probably my carry-on because I want it with me. Yeah, I got my camera bag ready to go. 
<sighs> I'm super tired, guys. So, I'm about to eat some food. Ugh. So, yeah, guys, I'm super tired. I'm about to eat some food. Um, I was originally going to drive to New York tonight, but then I realized, like, it doesn't make sense. I'm just going to leave straight from Connecticut and go to New York. Um, we're going to leave at 1.30 in the morning. Devon's going to come with me so that he can take my car back because apparently he has something planned for me in New York when I get back. So it doesn't make sense for my car to be out there and then him bring his car and whatnot. So he's going to take mine back so that I can have a good trip. I'm super excited. Um, so I'm just going to close out this video here. I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, getting ready for trips is a lot and a lot of times and a lot of times people will go out and pay for all this stuff to get done but I save money doing my own lashes as well as waxing my underarms my legs and my little tummy area and I also save money doing my own hair because it's like why would I pay to get my hair done I know how to do hair so yeah I'm super ready and pumped for Puerto Rico. Your girl's gonna be 25. I'm halfway to 30. Oh my God, I'm getting so old. But um, yeah, so make sure you guys are subscribed and tune in to the Puerto Rico vlog because it's going to be lit. See y'all in Puerto Rico. Hasta luego.